So those are fairly bright. And uh, that's with a ground connection across the resistor. Um, so that I could see the current to and from that ground connection through that load. This is a Mozilla oscillator that's driving that with a 333 uh, picofarad cap in between so I get one third of the frequency of the cacher which is running that. I should be able to disconnect that. Right. So then that goes out. And this is seven and a half volts and sixty milliamps to get I don't know something. I can turn up the voltage some so it's brighter. Now I'm at eighteen volts and two hundred forty milliamps and the current has gone way up on my ground line. The blue in the background is uh, it's the uh, Mazzilli. And the cacher is actually just three times that. Um, hold on. I don't know, you can kind of see now. Maybe. I guess that's actually. Well, there's a half wave in between. So that's really only double. That's a two times frequency. So I need to increase the capacitance on the rear. Okay, so I went up to 470, which now brings me up to 3, 2.5 or something, but they are still against each other. One side is against one collector, the other side is just clipped on the, on the uh, drive coil there. But it's picking up 20 volts there. And quarter amp and 18 volts. I don't know. What I can say about that is if I disconnect that resistor from ground, that is a very high voltage. And that hurts a lot. It, like, feels like it burns, actually. Change my choke a little bit. The uh, screw is pretty steady. Got a 3x frequency on the cashier. No, see, it says 2x. Um, let's see, I'm approaching it, it changes the frequency here. Keep misplacing my neon. But this thing, I don't know, I guess I'm at lower voltage now. Although this has kind of an area effect around it that's pretty big. I mean, even on... But it doesn't light up like anywhere over here. It does if I disconnect the ground. So I don't know what this thing is doing. I don't know if I can make this better.
And it's changed a little bit, so I'm at 180 millivolts and 13 volts. And those are pretty bright, but that's just really high voltage. There's like no current. I have a power supply back there that I tried, but it just kept faulting off. Um, tried to make a bridge out of 4148s. And that collects voltage in the capacitor kind of, kind of well, but it collects more negative than positive. And I have basically no ground connections to this. Uh, everything is diode isolated. I uh, don't even know if you can see that. And there. I should get a, like a flashlight or something. Um, hmm. You can't even see that. Okay. This is red. Let me uh, disconnect one end of this. Let me disconnect the other end of this. Okay. It's three rows of LEDs. Red and orange and blue and red. There. Orange and blue and red. That blue is really blinding the camera. And it is pretty bright to me also. Um, and this is disconnecting the ground. But... <laughs> With the ground disconnected, it's 160 milliamps. With the ground connected, connects. it's 170. And without the load at all, oh, it's actually missing one end. So, let me put the other end back on. And it's 170 milliamps. And those are 20 LEDs in series. Actually, it's 30 in series and another 30 in series with the ground in the middle. Like, I don't know. On, on the back, the ground is in the middle. So, in the dark, yeah, it still blinds the camera. And you can't see anything really. Um, I guess it is somewhat directional. Mm, lost half of them somehow. Okay. So. No, it's a nice color, color balance. You get orange and blue and red. You can see, see things by it. It has to be kind of close though. I guess. But, um, I don't really know that they go any brighter than that. Just one more thing. There's, a. Uh, this is hooked across the resistor here to ground. And I think that's 10 ohms. And this, uh, oh, sorry, if I center that. This is one, two volts negative 2 volts and uh, that's a much higher frequency than this blue, blue trace which is um, I don't know, you can't even see that uh, there you can blue trace is uh, one side of the mazilli and the yellow trace is um, that ground connection. Which is a much higher frequency. It's 500 nanosecond divisions.